Okay, what I'm going to show you is basic functionality on the Yaylink phones of how to make phone calls and receive phone calls. So first of all, if you're on headset mode, that will be green. You can just dial numbers straight away, press the call button and be connected directly with your headset. Uh, you can be on speakerphone if you want to be on speakerphone. Um, before you go cancel that one, speakerphone. If you wanted to do speakerphone, that's the way you do it or literally pick up the headset. Um, if you're on headset mode there and you pick up the handset, it changes it to handset mode and then you can go back to headset mode as you see fit. Um, if I just cancel there, like you can see these four dynamic buttons are changing. They will be your best friend. Anything you need to do, you'll be able to easily do from in here. Uh, if you wanted to check your history, if you wanted to go on do not disturb mode, it's very easy, push do not disturb and then come out of do not disturb mode. Um, if you let's dial a number now and show you some very basic functionality. So I'll dial that number. And now you actually notice these buttons change. You've got the option to transfer. So you can transfer this out to somebody within your business or even to an outside number. If you push the transfer button and dial the number or push the button that you want to transfer to, or dial the extension number and press call. It's set up for attended transfer. So the other person, the other, other side will answer and you will say, hey, Jason, I have Phil on the line. Would you like to talk to him? He says no. Then you can end the call with Jason again, resume that call and say, uh, Phil, Jason's not available. Can I take a message or help you out? Or you can actually push the call through. So you push transfer, dial the extension that you want it to go through to, press call. You can transfer it blindly straight away now before the other person picks up, which is called a blind transfer. Or you say, hey, Phil, I've got Jason on the line. Yes, put him through. You press transfer. That call's been palmed off now uh, to the other person. Um, I'm just going to transfer that one back now. There's an incoming call. Uh, that's how they're going to come up with the person's number. You've got your four options there, answer, forward, reject. So we're going to answer this one. Um, from here, I'm going to show you how to do a conference call. So press the conference button, dial the person that you want to conference into. Can either be an outside line or an inside line. It's completely up to you. Call that person. Hey, Phil, I'm going to put you on a conference call with Jason. Okay, conference. You can see the icons changed here now, and you're conferenced in with uh, more than one person on the line. And um, from here, the other person can end, and you're still on the line. Uh, you'll notice that I've always, whenever I'm on a call, I'm actually attached to that phone call. You can't do much else except for uh, functions within that one phone call on these phones. So what with the IP phone system, so what you'll need to do is you'll notice there's at the end, there's these SP1 and SP2. That's the shared parking um, area. What you can do is actually now put this person into shared parking. It sits there. You've got full functionality of your phone back. So if you need to answer another call or something, you can do that because you've palmed this phone call off into shared parking now, and then you can grab it back from shared parking just by pushing shared parking again. So for example, the use case for that would be you're on a phone call at reception. You notice there's other phone calls coming in that you've got to answer. You say, hey, Mr. Customer, can I just put you on hold for a second while I answer the other call? Bang, put them into shared parking. Now you've got the ability to answer the other calls. Then you can go back to them later. The other way is, let's say uh, you don't want to be put through to a staff member who's not available right this second, you can say, um, hey, Phil, I've got Jason in shared parking one available when you're ready. And that way, what you can do is actually use your phone again, rather than being attached to that phone call, waiting for the other person to be ready. Um, the final functionality that I wanted to show you on the phone, we pick that one back up, is you can just um, literally put a person on hold and resume the on hold. Um, so like I said, these four main buttons are going to be your best friend. Uh, keep an eye on them and you'll be able to do anything that you need to do on the system.